welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, we will study about nine important types of inventory management system with example of each inventory management approach so that you can have an insight of how each of these inventory management system works. First of all, we have FIFO or first in first out inventory management. FIFO is a method of inventory management that assumes that the first items to be received or produced are the first to be sold or used. This method is commonly used in industries where the product has a limited shelf life, such as perishable goods or consumables. For example, a bakery may use FIFO to manage its inventory of bread. When new loaves are baked, they are placed at the back of the shelf while the older loaves are placed at the front. When a customer comes in to purchase the bread, the bakery will sell them the oldest loaves first, ensuring that the bread remains fresh and is not wasted. Last in first out or LIFO inventory management. LIFO is the opposite of FIFO as it assumes that the last items to be received or produced are the first to be sold or used. This method is often used in industries where the product has a long shelf life as it allows for the most recent items to be sold first, ensuring they remain fresh and are not wasted. For example, a store may use LIFO to manage its inventory of clothing. When new clothing items are received, they are placed at the back of the racks while the older items are placed at the front. When a customer comes in to purchase clothing, the store will sell them the newest item first, ensuring that the clothing remains fresh and is not wasted. First expired, first out or FEFO inventory management. FEFO is a method of inventory management that is similar to FIFO, but it specifically focuses on products with expiration dates. This method ensures that the product with the shortest shelf life are used or sold first to prevent waste. For example, a grocery store may use FEFO to manage its inventory of milk. When new milk is received, it is placed at the back of the fridge while the older milk is placed at the front. When a customer comes in to purchase milk, the store will sell them the milk with shortest expiration date first, ensuring that the milk remains fresh and is not wasted. Just-in-time or JIT inventory management. Just-in-time is a method of inventory management that aims to reduce inventory levels by only ordering or producing products as they are needed. This method helps to reduce costs by eliminating the need for storage space and excess inventories. And it also helps to prevent waste by ensuring that the products are used or sold before they expire. For example, a manufacturer may use JIT to manage its inventory of raw materials. Rather than storing large quantity of raw materials in its warehouse, the manufacturer will only order the materials it needs as it needs them, ensuring that they are used immediately in the production process. This helps to reduce the risk of waste and keeps costs low. Kanwan Inventory Management Kanwan is a method of inventory management that is based on the principles of Toyota production system. It uses a visual signaling system to communicate when inventory needs to be replenished, helping to reduce excess inventory and improve efficiency. For example, a manufacturer may use Kanwan to manage his inventory of raw materials. Rather than ordering materials in large quantities, the manufacturer will use a visual a signaling system such as Kanban card or colored bin to communicate when it is the time to order more materials. This helps to reduce excess inventory and improve efficiency by only ordering materials as they are needed. Another example, a car manufacturer might use a Kanban system to track the flow of parts and components through the production line. Each part is represented by a card or the visual indicator and as the parts are used up, new ones are ordered to replace them. 
एवरेज कॉस्ट इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट एवरेज कॉस्ट इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट इज द मेथड ऑफ वैल्यूइंग इन्वेंट्री वेस्ट ऑन द एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्वेरिंग इट दिस प्रोसेस इज ऑफन यूज बाय कंपनीज दैट हैव हाई वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिमिलर आइटम्स इन स्टॉक एज इट हेल्प्स टू सिंप्लीफाई द प्रोसेस ऑफ वैल्यूइंग द इन्वेंट्री फॉर एग्जाम्पल a wholesale distributor using average cost inventory management might value all of its products based on the average cost of acquiring them rather than tracking the cost of each individual item for example a wholesale distributor using average cost inventory management might value all of its products based on average cost of acquiring them rather than tracking the cost of each individual item perpetual inventory management Perpetual inventory management is a system that allows a company to continuously track the flow of inventory in real time. This approach involves regularly updating inventory records as items are added or removed from the stock rather than conducting a physical inventory count at set intervals. Perpetual inventory management is often used in combination with other inventory management techniques such as just in time or kanban to help ensure that the inventory levels are always accurate and up to date in retail store every time a product is sold the system is updated to reflect the change in inventory this allows the store to know exactly how much of each product it has available at any given time as well as when it needs to restock this helps to avoid running out of popular products and thus helps to reduce the overall cost of the inventory management economic order quantity or eoq economic order quantity is the method of inventory management that involves calculating the optimal order size and frequency to minimize inventory costs while meeting customer demand this approach takes into account a number of factors including the cost of placing an order the cost of holding inventory and the demand for a product for example a company might use eoq to determine the optimal order size for raw materials to minimize the cost of holding inventory while meeting the production demands the average eoq is that it can help to minimize the inventory cost and optimize production level however it requires accurate demand forecast that can be complex to implement let's say a store sells a bag of chips and cost to place an order for more chips is 50 dollars the store also incurs a holding cost of 0.5 dollars for each bag of chips it has inventory each year if the store sells uh, 1000 bags of chips per year it can use the eoq formula to determine the optimal order size to minimize the total cost of inventory the formula of eoq is given where d is the demand of the items in units per year s is the cost to place the order and h is the holding cost per unit per year plugging in the values from the example we get eoq as 447.72 that means the store should place orders for 448 bags of chips at a time in order to minimize the total cost of inventory we have another inventory management system also cross docking this method involves receiving inventory and immediately distributing it to the end user rather than storing it in a warehouse This helps to minimize the cost of holding inventory and reduce the risk of inventory becoming obsolete. For example, a wholesaler may use cross docking to receive inventory from a supplier and immediately distribute it to the retailer rather than storing it in a warehouse. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses. free books and lecture topics on project management lean and six sigma operations and supply chain productive and preventive maintenance quality maintenance data science industry and sales management agile and scrum kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free no strings attached as we have limited seats only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember it's totally free Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.